welcome back to Bahasa Little Project. Selamat datang kembali di Bahasa Little Project. And you are going to learn something easy about Bahasa Indonesia. Why? Because we will be learning vocabularies or words that are borrowed from English. As you know, perhaps that Bahasa Indonesia borrowed more than 5,000 words from English. And this will be a good news for you because this vocabulary would be much, much easier to learn. Because number one, it has almost identical spelling just like in English. And number two, it also has almost identical pronunciation just like English. So if you are an English speaker, you already know a lot of Bahasa Indonesia words. You just need to know how they are transformed into Bahasa Indonesia from English. Okay, so again, I would really suggest you to learn these words and think about what are change in terms of spelling and pronunciation. Okay, and I will also give you sample sentences when you are using this, uh, these words in uh, Bahasa Indonesia. But if you would like to get the PDF, with the transcript of the sentences, please email me. It will only be $10. So now, without further ado, let's move on. Okay, I'm too excited. <laughs> okay, so now let's just move on and learn about those easy words. Number one, computer. 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 I always have a computer in my room. Saya selalu punya computer. Di kamar saya. Okay. Computer. Computer. Number two. Televisi. 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 Television. Kemarin Budi menonton televisi. Yesterday Budi watch television. Kemarin Budi menonton televisi. Number three. Internet. Internet is just internet, okay? But of course, you need to pay uh, pay attention into the vowel and also the consonant because that's distinguish English and Bahasa Indonesia. And we discuss this uh, quite in detail in our complete Bahasa course, okay? And we have level one for free on YouTube. So if you want to learn more in and in detail about about pronunciation and whatnot, go ahead and check it out. Okay, so again, internet is in, is also internet in Bahasa Indonesia. We will browse the internet tomorrow. Kita akan browsing internet besok. Telefon. Telepon. Telefon. This is, this is almost exactly the same, both in terms of spelling and pronunciation. Telefon. Telepon. Okay, so it's the same. So I think you can create your own sentence here, right? Uh, whatever sentence you want. Radio is radio. It's just the the pronunciation is different, number five. Radio. Okay, of course, in English, you would say radio, but in Bahasa Indonesia, it's radio. Remember that vowel in Bahasa Indonesia is, is always spoken as it is written. So, A is always A. A, I, U, A, O. Okay, A, I, U, A, O. A is always A, E is always E. With some exception, of course, but 99% it, it stays the same. Um, okay, and I think we discuss uh, the exception in level like level 7, I guess. But yeah, okay, radio, radio. And I think you can create your own sentence with radio, right? Camera, 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 camera is camera is the same so again there's already three words for you so so far let, let's let's review until you reach 10 okay so camera is camera manager manager so uh, the pronunciation is exactly the same just like in english right manager manager of course the r is not really pronounced in, in english but we pronounce it clearly in basanisha but the spelling is you not if you notice this one um, one letter difference. In, in in English we use G in G right in in Indonesia we use J. Okay, manager. But again, the pronunciation is exactly the same. Okay, so this is an one example in which we don't pronounce uh, the the R the vowel as it is written because obviously this is a borrowed word from English. 
but other than this one little exception all other vowel are uh, are spoken as it is written okay manager restaurant uh, the spelling and the pronunciation is almost identical restaurant restaurant okay next we have hotel hotel is exactly exactly the same okay hotel is hotel i don't think you will have any difficulties creating uh, sentences right i mean we d we talk about a lot of sentences in in our complete bahasa course level so yeah i leave it to you number 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 10 is a uh, club but we actually club yeah club okay this is club of course in 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 english you would say uh, club right but in bahasa it is club so okay so far uh, 10 easy words number one is computer televisi internet we have telepon and then radio camera manager okay restaurant excuse me hotel club and then we have festival in in bahasa we, we pronounce it as festival 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 okay festival and then we have aksi 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 is action uh, okay aksi action aksi aksi musik musik is the same just one letter difference musik but the pronunciation is a bit different right but very very similar music right music in english and musik musik okay musik policy number 14 policy police komunikasi komunikasi communication komunikasi system system is exactly the same the pronunciation system but the the, the spelling it has a uh, one uh, letter difference system gitar gitar okay we only use i in basinsha but we have ui in english so gitar film film is film comedy 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 okay film comedy drama drama is exa exactly the same exactly the same <laughs> exactly the same right? drama it's a drama drama is the same just like i watch a very good drama uh, today saya menonton drama yang sangat bagus hari ini Okay, and by the way, I'm currently watching a series, Fargo. Maybe some of you know that. It's very good. I'm watching the season four now. <laughs> and by the way, I think we will talk about... Do you do you guys want to know this? We will talk about like uh, uh, top 10 best movies in Bahasa Indonesia. Let me know if you are interested to know this kind of thing. And then we can discuss it. Or if you have any uh, requests for lessons, let me know also. So drama again is drama. Bioskop. Bioskop is cinema. Why is this here? Because th this this is not similar. So cinema in 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 Bahasa Indonesia, hmm, this is a mistake because this is not similar. So um, yeah. But in in Bahasa Indonesia, you actually can call cinema as cinema also. Yuk ke cinema yuk. The spelling is the same, but of course bioskop is more more uh, more popular. Okay, but yeah, my apology. This word, this one word, is not part of the easy, easy by Indonesia because this is not the same. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you want to learn, here you go. You're learning something new. Bioskop is cinema. Let's go to the cinema. Yuk ke bioskop. Uh, yeah, twenty-two. Uh, we we are back to business. This is similar again. Automatis, automatic, automatis, 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 automatis. Automatis, automatic. Business, yeah. The pronunciation is exactly the same. Business, but the uh, but the the uh, the spelling is a bit different. The the English one is more complicated, way more complicated. A lot of my English students get confused when they need to write business. Okay, because it's just way more complicated in English. But in Bahasa it's just business, and this, again the pronunciation is the same. Universitas. Remember the uh, letters in or vowel, especially in Bahasa Indonesia, stay the same, 
both written and spoken. So we always say the word as written. So it is not university, but u. Okay, not u, but u. Remember, a i u e o. If you want to uh, learn more about a vowel, let me know. I can create a, a special lesson about that. Again, it is u, not u. Okay, universitas. 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 University. Campus. Campus. Okay. Again, we we pronounce the vowel exactly as written. Campus. In English, of course, it's campus, right? Here is campus. So we pronounce a as a and u as u. Campus. Kolaborasi. 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 Okay. So um, in 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 Bahasa we never use c in replace of k. So k is always k. So if in uh, the English version we use C and we pronounce C as K and when it is transformed into Bahasa Indonesia, the C will always be changed into K. So collaboracy, collaboration. Collaborasi. And, and, and Ion, this is another tip, Ion is always changed into a C. Okay? Documentation, documentasi. Exploration, explorasi. Ah, uh, that's another, that's another good news for you. If you have ion, okay, in 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 Bahasa Indonesia you will have asi. Ah, uh, this is another example. Presentasi, right? Presentation, presentasi, 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 presentasi. Diskusi, another example. Discussion, diskusi, diskusi. Diskusi, konferensi, conference, konferensi. But uh, this is not a, uh, one tricky thing about Indonesian vowel. D E. Why D E is uh, is tricky because it can be pronounced as a, uh, and also it can be pronounced as a. Like exactly the example is this uh, this word konferensi. So the first E is pronounced as a, uh, and the second E is pronounced as a. So con Conferency, conferency. When I'm teaching uh, in my conversational class, many of my students will have difficulties differentiating which e uh is pronounced as uh, which e is pronounced as e uh, and which e is pronounced as a. Unfortunately, we don't have any rules, but you need to memorize word per word. So again, conferency, conferency. Management, management, management. But uh, we we tend to pronounce it just like in English, management. But of course, we pronounce it as management, right? Uh, but but yeah, people in Indonesia would say man management, management. Now again, this is another exception because this word is borrowed from English, um, right? And um, here we don't we don't really pronounce it as management, but management, management. So management, okay, management. Design, design. So the pronunciation is exactly the same, just like in English. Design. The uh, the the spelling is a bit different. Analysis, 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 analysis. Okay, so so far we have discussed more than thirty. If you like this lesson, make sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, right? Share it with your friends. Whatever and comments what lessons that you want me to discuss next. Evaluasi. 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 Evaluation. Revolusi. Revolusi. Revolution. Solusi. Solusi. Solution. Qualitas. Qualitas. Quantity. Eh, sorry. Quality. Qualitas. 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 Quantitas, okay, quantitas, qualitas, quantitas. So my suggestion for you is to maybe take 10 words per day and just really memorize it, try uh, to spell it, try to pronounce it and recognize the difference, what is changed in Bahasa Indonesia from its origin in English, you know. Ide, idea, ide. This is probably a good name for your future kids, ide. Idea, schema, scheme, schema, schema, standardi, 
standardisasi, 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 standardisasi. Optimis, ayo optimis lah, be optimistic, optimis, optimis, optimis. Realitas, realitas. Okay, so a lot of T is translated or changed into as in Bahasa Indonesia. So quality, kualitas, quantity, kuantitas, reality, realitas. So this is another thing that you probably want to realize. Economy, economy is exactly the same. The pronunciation is exactly the same. Economy, the the spelling is a bit different. Economy. Investasi, investment, investasi. Investasi, investasi, prestasi. Ah, this is another thing that I probably want to tell you. So, in most Indonesian, they don't or we don't, we don't pronounce the V, the letter V correctly. Okay, so um, you would you would hear people saying investasi. So instead of a V, you would uh, you would hear people uh, using this word invest with F. But of course, the correct one would be V, right? But again, because most of most of us we don't really pronounce the word V correctly, so yeah, you will hear most of them investasi, not investasi, and and actually you will sound weird if you try hard to 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 say the the letter V correctly in Bahasa Indonesia. So if you if you pronounce this as investasi, that would sound so weird, because again in Bahasa Indonesia we would. We would uh, we would say investasi, not investasi. Of course, in English you you need to pronounce your V correctly, right? Prestasi, achievement. Ah, oh, this is another incorrect word. My apology, guys. Prestasi, achievement. This is uh, this is not similar. So yeah, just ignore this. But if you want to learn something new again, here you go. Uh, okay, achievement in Bahasa. In Bahasa Indonesia is prestasi, but 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 let me tell you something. When I'm teaching English, a lot of my students, for some reason, would uh, would translate prestasi into prestation. <laughs> so yeah, many of my English students believe that prestasi is a uh, English word, and they would say prestation <laughs> when they when they want to say achievement in Bahasa Indonesia. But of course, they are not correct. Okay, so prestasi. It's a Bahasa Indonesia term, and the English translation is achievement. Okay, let's move on. Edukasi, edukasi, education, edukasi, edukasi, edukasi. Karir, okay, karir. So we don't really pronounce this letter here. So karir, okay, karir, career. I had difficulty when I was studying in the US. That was the first time. I understand how to say this word. How to say this word clearly in English? Career, not career. So when when I was young, well, I hope I'm still young. But when I was younger, <laughs> I used to pronounce this word as career. Okay. So yeah, uh, the correct one would be career, right, in English. But in Bahasa Indonesia, this is career. Okay. Next, experiment. And I think that's almost exactly the same, but in spelling and in pronunciation, experiment. And then we have conservasi, conservas, conservasi. Again, we would not pronounce the V as V. Uh, we would pronounce the V as F. Here, okay. It, it would sound weird if you try to pronounce this as conservasi. <laughs> okay. You should pronounce this as conservasi with an F. But in 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 written Bahasa Indonesia, we always use V. Okay, we never deviate with that. But we we deviate in in pronunciation. Konservasi, rekreasi, 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 recreation, rekreasi. Okay, so we are almost there. We are halfway to one hundred words. So maybe you want to take a break for now and you know write down and practice, practice, practice first. Okay. Excuse me. But again, if you want to learn more, this is the time for me to give you some ads. <laughs> if you want to learn more, please join. I would really suggest if you really, if you really want to boost your fluency, you should join and complete our complete Bahasa course level one to ten. 
And to give you a taste of that, thousands of people have loved that course. We have level one available for free on YouTube. Now let's move on. Konsultasi, consultation, konsultasi, konsultasi. Okay, konsultasi. Akurat, akurat, akurat. Accurate, akurat. Akurat tajam terpercaya. That's a slogan. I think for some, I think for one of the biggest news outlet in Indonesia. Akurat tajam terpercaya. So accurate, sharp, and trustworthy. Something like that. Photocopy, photocopy, photocopy. The it is almost exactly identical to the English counterpart. Photocopy specialist, specialist. This is also again very similar. Specialist. Competisi, 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 competition. Again, we always pronounce or sorry, transform or change the C in English that is pronounced as K to just simply a K in Bahasa Indonesia. Make like make life simpler, right? Competisi, meditasi, meditasi, almost the same. Meditasi, kreatif. Ah, so when we have VE at the end of a word. We almost always change it to F if the word is borrowed from English. So, now this is another example why we change V E into F because again uh, Indonesian we don't we don't pronounce V correctly. So yeah, voila, we change it into F. Creative, okay. Do not pronounce it as creative, <laughs> okay. Creative. Evolusi again, you don't pronounce the V as V. You pronounce it as F. Evolusi, not evolusi. Evolusi, inspirasi, almost the same. Inspiration again. We have this case here with ion and asi. Inspirasi, imigrasi, the same thing. Ion to asi, imigrasi. Rehabilitasi, the same thing again. Rehabilitasi, rehabilitasi. Dramatis, we learn drama by the way, right? Dramatis. Kontroversi, kontroversi. Again, you need to pronounce this as F. Kontroversi, kontroversi. Aplikasi, aplikasi. Almost the same. Akreditasi, akreditasi. You are actually learning some advanced vocabulary also in this lesson. So yeah. So again, you. I think you already knew within you like thousands of Indonesian words. I'm here just waking it up, waking the vocal vocabulary up so that you realize that you already know it. So again, akreditasi, executive, executive again, right? We have this executive, executive format. Now this is exactly the same word, but in writing and in speaking format, format I guess in English, but yeah, implementasi the same case again, implementasi. Okay, integrasi, integration, integrasi. Okay, integrasi, exclusive. Again, we have that. We are not good with V. Exclusive. Okay, exclusive. Alternative, 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 alternative. Okay, export, export. Export. This is almost the same, but not really. Okay. So we almost always change e x into e k s. So if the original word is formed with e x in Bahasa, we change it to e k s. Process. Almost the same. Process. Okay. Process. Tradisi. Tradition. Tradition. Tradisi. Almost the same. Tradisi, modern. Of course, modern is English. The bahasa, the bahasa one is modern. This is, this is very different. Okay, so you need to really pronounce it correctly. Modern, modern. So yeah, it is almost like we have another letter here. Modern. You actually can use this like modern like this. It's not a big deal. I think people will understand. But yeah. Okay, we pronounce this. Word in Bahasa Indonesia is modern, modern. Kreativitas, 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 creativity, kreativitas. 
inovasi 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 but again we don't pronounce it as inovasi but inovasi with f inovasi okay inovasi motivasi again f not v motivasi edukasi okay edukasi education edukasi revolusi 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 digital so we don't pronounce it as digital but digital we kind of uh, the spelling we also kind of borrow it from english too because this word uh, this letter in in Basunsha is g but since again this word is borrowed from english we pronounce it as g so digital 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 mental 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 okay mental akomodasi 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 informasi 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 professional 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 character character right character 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 technology 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 concept 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 almost exactly the same concept partisipasi again we have this asi ion partisipasi participation partisipasi partisipasi akun account akun account akun virus virus so yeah virus again we pronounce e here as e in basunsha so virus okay in english virus in in basunsha virus compilasi Compil compilation compilasi compilasi literatur so remember to pronounce the r clearly literatur 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 kritik okay kritik 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 identitas identity again we we change t to us identitas 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 project 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 dokumentasi documentation dokumentasi dokumentasi kolaborator 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 this is probably quite hard kolaborator navigasi na navigasi again we pronounce the f sorry the v s f navigasi navigasi rekreasi the last one rekreasi 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 okay wow there you go i hope that you have learned a lot and this is easy if you give some time because again the pronunciation and the spelling are almost identical okay um, and we will continue this so if you are still with me please let me know if you like this lesson and comment below if you like this so we can create the second part if you like this lesson i think we can create 1000 easy bahasa words borrowed from english and again if you are interested to know maybe uh, sample sentences for each of these words please email us you can buy the pdf of this uh, easy borrowed word from english for only ten dollars okay and again of course i would uh, again suggest you to uh, to join our complete bahasa course level one to ten and if you want to know more about it we have level one available for free on youtube so thank you again terima kasih semoga berguna dan sampai jumpa ah uh, if you have any questions about this uh, feel free okay uh, let me know um, by the way uh, and make sure to practice this uh, practice these words and create your own sentences using these new words that you have learned you have known a lot of bahasa indonesia you just you just need to wake it up 
by listening to our lessons on borrowed word from English. So thank you again. Terima kasih. Sampai jumpa.